You are now listening to Playbook Radio. Here is your host, Martin Williams. And thank you for tuning in to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the podcast when you do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. All the links to the podcast can be found at GamePlanPlaybook.com. That's GamePlanPlaybook.com. So today, what I wanted to talk to you about uh, is a little something that I uh, have studied from the Master Key system. Uh, and that is a a classic uh, course uh, that came out in the early 20th century. It was written by Charles Hamel. His last name is H-A-A-M-E-L, Charles Hamel. Uh, and I believe it's in the public domain now, so you can download it pretty much anywhere on Google. And it's worth uh, so much more than uh, you could ever pay for it. Uh, it really helped me out a lot. I uh, discovered it roughly 10 years ago, uh, maybe even before then, <clears throat> excuse me, but really a lot of good wisdom, and I'm going to be teaching from it in the coming weeks. But uh, today, what I wanted to talk to you uh, about is uh, one of the lessons from the first week, and that is you must be before you can do. And on a conscious level, I don't think anyone really has an issue with that. I think the struggle is the application of it because a lot of people are trying to do things that they haven't really done as far as the the being part of it, right? Uh, So think of it like this. When you go to work, you have a computer. Most people have a computer or they have something that they have to log into and you have a password, right? A username and password. But if those username, if the username or the password isn't correct, then you won't get access to that computer, right? And so those access uh, credentials are called privileges, right? Uh, if you don't have the, the right uh, password or username, you're not going to be able to use that computer. And people at different levels have different user privileges. Your manager has um, user access that you don't have. And those privileges and that access is tied to that person or who that person is and, and what level uh, they operate in within the company, okay? But if you don't have the password, you can't have the privilege that allows you to do things within that system, right? It's tied to who you are. It's tied to your identity, okay? Same thing with an ATM. If you don't have a PIN number or your PIN number is incorrect, then you no one can access money out of your account, and that's a good thing, right? It's a really good thing. But I think that a lot of people don't make the connection that what you can do is tied to who you are. If you don't have the right PIN number, then, you know, that account's going to get locked and you're not going to be able to access it. No one's going to be able to access it until they can prove that they are who is on that account. Okay. So if you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to get out of debt, if you're trying to raise your level in your career or raise your level in your business or you're trying to increase sales, increase revenue, you have to become that person first, right? And when I talk about that in the playbook principles, I talk about uh, reprogramming your mind and, and, and mindset because you're, you know, you may make 20 grand a month. You may be able to pull that off once, but in order to pull it off consistently, you've got to become the person that makes 20 grand a month. You got to become the person that makes a million dollars a year and to do it in a consistent way, right? You've got to become the person that does that. You got to become the person that lives at a certain weight, whatever that desired weight is for you. You've got to become the person that is happy in a relationship. You've got to become the person that is successful. You got to become that. You got to become the person that that loses the 50 pounds and keeps it off. Most people will tell you that keeping it off is just as hard as losing it, if not harder. Because if you don't change who you are, that weight's going to come right back on. You've got to become a different person. Before you make that money, continue to make that money, you know, it's all mindset. You have to be before you can do. So what does that mean for you? What are some takeaways here? Number one is that it's a matter of identity. It's a matter of deciding that I am this person and then walking around with the confidence and the faith 
that I am this person that produces this result. It's not about chasing a result. I think a lot of people are trying to chase a result instead of becoming the person that gets the result. When you become the person that gets the result, you'll get the result faster and you'll get it more consistently. So you're not just trying to do something, but you've already become it. And because I become it, it's inevitable that I will do it. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Playbook Radio. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this podcast with family and friends. And if you're ready to take the next step in your personal development journey, consider trying mental recoding by Playbook Strategies. These short audios are designed to help you reprogram your thoughts around different life subjects, such as finances, health, work, relationships, and much more. Click the link below to explore mental recoding products to help reshape your mind. 